This is hands down the craziest adventure in Cancun. Today we're taking on Mexico's most daring theme park. Where you can expect to see speed boats, monster trucks, and a rope course that literally almost made us cry. <laughs> Today we're sharing our experience in Savage Bashkade to see if it's really worth the price tag. So we're about to get into uh, Savage, but something that you might have not known, Savage Park shared the premises with Xochimilco Park too. Yes, which we obviously made a video on and you can find the link down in the description. Get in for the adventure. Actually, there's the rope course. It's very, very hard up to the ground. As soon as we arrived, we got ourselves checked in and received our locker key and helmet, which is included with your entrance. Suit up, boys. So the idea behind Savage is it's like the craziest park of all of them, like with the most daring adrenaline packed activities. So yeah, I'm quite excited. I'm, I'm someone who typically likes adrenaline. I don't know so much about Giovanni. You do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm very excited, especially for the rope course. <laughs> so we came with a whole lot of stuff, but we can put it right away for the rest of the day. And literally all we have on us now are action cameras. We're wearing our water shoes, which are super important. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Before we start any of the activities, we're actually going to grab um, a little snack before we get going because, I mean, I'm always alright, but Giovanni cannot start his day without food. Why so are you blaming on me? <laughs> we all know. <laughs> we're going to get some chilaquiles. Mm-hmm, they smell good. Should I get yours? Yeah, yeah, can you? Let's see. Rojos para ti acá. What are you getting? Cookies? Mmm, everything looks so nice, eh? Yep. Mm. Let's see what Simon got. Yeah. Chilaquiles verdes, chilaquiles rojos para mí. Uh huh. Let us know in the comments if you're team red or team green. Basically, we came with the all inclusive package, which includes all of these things. You could also just get the basic package, which includes this, but both packages include your food all day long. So you've got a light breakfast, and then lunch is like a big buffet option. So we're just having a bit of breakfast now. If you guys enjoy our content, please give us a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below because this actually really helps to our channel. Yeah, liking is great, but leaving a comment is mejor. Mucho mejor. Mucho mejor. <laughs> Just FYI, water activities started starts at 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. So for all of the water activities, we have to wait a little bit, but we can go and see other, yeah. other stuff. Today we're getting our photo package, which we've never done before. When you check in, you get your bracelet. And you take this bracelet and every time you see one of these um, little signs, you scan it, you pose, and then you get your picture taken. Giovanni has chosen to first visit the monster truck. The monster truck. Are you sure it's from here? I'm just following the path. <laughs> We're doing it! Excited, my love? Yeah, I am. You wanna drive? I think so. <coughs> Gracias. 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 This is the last um, obstacle, so we're gonna have to go slow with the break. We're going over a bridge. I'm hitting. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Man, I feel like I was completely unprepared for that. I thought it was gonna be like a cute little family friendly activity. That was crazy. You know what was the scariest thing? When you go up the mountain, as the, the passengers, you, you can't see over the car, so you don't know how deep that dip is going to be. It was very cool. It wasn't a mountain, actually. It was a little bit of a hill. <laughs> a lot of a hill. 
¿De este lado? Sí. Action enjoy. The yeah. first activity, pump, yeah. pump us up. <laughs> Cell phones and objects that can actually fall during the activities actually are prohibited. Of course, if you have like an action camera, we can have them with you, but it has to have the proper attachment, yeah, which we no have. No selfie sticks. No selfie sticks. Anyway, we're going to the next activity, which I think is going to be the zip line. Zip line in. So if you're looking for very specific information like price, what to bring, all of that kind of stuff, we've written a comprehensive blog post which you can find on fortheroadtravels.com. Additionally, that's where you can actually find our travel guides that focus on the region of the Riviera Maya, as well as the Riviera Maya map, which has got over 400 pinpointed locations. Yeah, they have places like restaurants, theme parks, not only here in the Riviera Maya, if not in the entire state of Quintana Roo. Exactly. So this is the big ropes course that we're going to be doing in a little bit. It's actually very high up of the ground. Okay, let's fly. <laughs> How was that, Mana? That's so freaking cool. Number two of this seven activities completed. Listo. That was so freaking cool. You actually go for quite a while and it's like you're, you're supposed to be like a bird. This isn't like a fast adrenaline packed activity. It's more like chill. You just. Well, there's, there's a point where it's just going faster than. Yeah, but it's not, it's not crazy. It's just more like a floating kind of activity. Yeah. Or you just put your mouth there. Ah, okay. <laughs> they don't have them in Africa. <laughs> no, it's actually. Mm. I think mediano está bien. Gracias. Hola. Listo. Listas. Okay. That way? And then right, okay. <laughs> it's beautiful, hey my love? Yeah, it is. I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, but I think that is a vulture or an eagle up there. So you know how we were saying the Shkaret parks do such a great job of integrating the park into the nature? I literally have a falcon right on top of me right now. He's literally looking at me. So freaking cool. Alright, so we just finished our third activity, which was the rafting. Mm -hmm. It was fine, nothing too exciting to be honest. I mean, I got my bum nice and wet, so I think we're going to go find another wet activity. Now we're going to the starting point for the rafting. Technically, there's not like a circuit that you can, you can follow. It's just like, whatever you feel like doing right now, you do it. Yeah, so we're on activity number four right now. Activity number four, yeah. Gracias. Uh, español o inglés? Español. Sí, más o menos. Okay. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be a hectic activity. Actually, we saw everyone leaving and they were all soaking wet and the water's moving really quickly, so I'm pretty excited for this one. When I say position back, you're you play, okay? okay. Tequila! Tequila! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woo! Woo! Oh! 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 Oh!
I'm going to your rescue, my love. I'm going to your rescue. Enjoy. Yeah, I love this. This is so much fun. Out of the four activities, this one is my favorite one so far. Yeah, yeah it's so cool. I like water itself, eh? Yeah. <laughs> If we have time, this is the one that I want to do again. Yeah, same. You? Yeah, same, same. Yeah. Where are you going? Up, up, there. And your camera? Oh. <laughs> now we're heading to the, they call it jet boat. Last time I went on a speedboat, I was in New Zealand and it's one of my favorite activities I've ever done before. So I'm really excited for this one. So unfortunately this next activity we are not allowed any cameras to watch forever which sucks but we'll get pictures hopefully. We all hopped in the boat, put our seatbelts on, got a quick safety briefing from the captain and as soon as he started the engine you could hear that we were in for a wild ride. The boat took off pretty quickly and as soon as we got through that initial underpass the captain put his foot on the pedal and we went flying. The guy driving the boat was basically like a Formula One racer except on the water and when we got to certain parts of the course the boat captain would do these crazy spins on the water which as you can see from the photos the camera could barely even capture that how quickly we were going. Overall an amazing experience we just wish we could have captured it on camera to show you guys but trust us it was amazing what did you think of the dragonfly the speedboat it was, it was, was amazing it was actually so actually cool. it's quite dangerous i mean the guy is, is heel af i didn't even remotely think that they would go that fast you know like the scudded parks are like family friendly and you know i really thought that they would stay pretty conservative with it but it was really fast it was really freaking cool Okay, so this is what we're doing next, the ropes course, which is the main attraction of Savage Park. You ready? But born ready. <laughs> we're just gonna have to practice a little bit first before we go to the real deal. We practiced using our safety clips and began our ascent to the beginning of the course. It is at this point that you can actually choose which of the four levels you're going to do. Thinking that we're young and fit, we of course chose the gorilla level, which was a huge mistake and you're about to see why. As you can see, these stepping logs are hanging freely with some ropes, which means you'll need upper body strength, lower body strength, core strength, and great balance if you have any hope of getting to the other side. Oh, fuck. It didn't take very long for us to realize that this course was going to be a lot harder than it looked. After a fair bit of struggle, we got to this section of the course, which is precisely the point I began to regret our decision and started to wonder if we would even make it to the other end. My love, this is crazy! <laughs> it took every fiber of strength and resilience to keep on going because my arms, hands and legs were already shaking and about to give in. Oh, I want to get off. Oh, I want to get off. I don't like this. <laughs> I didn't enjoy that at all. I hated it. I, I felt like I'm going, I was going to die. To die. Fuck. I don't want to do this anymore. My life. Can we quit? Yeah. Okay, so we're going down the emergency exit right now. My arms feel like they're going to fall off. I didn't think I was going to make it. You went against what the gorilla left. Oh, no. No, no, no. If you want to start with a gorilla, you really need to be You're... afraid of heights. Oh my gosh, my arms, my legs, everything shaking. is cut I, I was about to fall, eh? Same. <laughs> okay, this isn't as bad as that first thing that we did. Okay. Oh yeah, this isn't too bad. Hola, <laughs> gracias. Oh my gosh. Thank you, my name. So how do we even finish this? Yeah, we'll have to go all the way there to the end and then... And then we're done. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll see you on the other side. Yes.
Okay, circuit are leaving right now. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad that's over. I would never choose to do that again. It looks cool from afar, but in real life, it's very hard and it's very scary. Parece fácil, pero luego no. <laughs> my arms and my hands. So if you do that course properly without like cheating and escaping halfway. I think it wasn't like, cheating, I think it was escaping. Yeah, escaping. It should take 90 minutes. I could, my arms are dead and I think we were maybe on there for 30 minutes at the very most. Well, that was so scary. <laughs> we're going to rectify that traumatic experience by treating ourselves to a nice buffet lunch. Man, this palapa is amazing, eh? You change? Yeah. Wow, these are so cute! Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Better, eh? Hey, yeah, this is amazing! It's so beautiful! Oh, I'm ready to eat! So it's not necessarily Mexican food here, it's called the International Buffet, so they've got stuff from all over the world. So we're going to be choosing things that we don't usually eat. Uh, so no tacos. Today, no tacos. This is Giovanni's selection. This is my selection. I think it's quite a lot. The buffalo is good, but it's spicy. Mm. I'm very impressed with the buffet. Mm. Very, very good. You see that has softer ice cream. Mm. You know, usually when um, these sorts of places, like include buffet, you don't really have high expectations. But the buffet here is very, very good. They've got they've got so many options available, but also the quality of the food is really good. Very tasty, very well done. Mm -hmm. for me, Shkare. Yeah. Do you want me to get you dessert? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. To share? No, I'm having my own. Because we've had the buffets at, at the other Shkaled parks, I know that this chocolate cake is killer. Not sure about this, but I'm going to give it a try. Gracias. Gracias. ¿Te café tiene? Sí, contamos con café negro y espresso. Technically, the very last activity that's available. I don't think we need our helmets anymore, right? No, I don't think so. It's more of like a, a little splash zone. It's not like an adventure activity. And to be quite honest, I don't even know if adults are allowed. This is the place where you can just rest as an adult and leave your children to have fun. Yeah, this final activity is definitely more for the kiddos, but it's a beautiful area to come and do exactly what you're doing right now. To be honest, before we came to Savage, I didn't have very high expectations because you don't hear about this park very often. You always hear about the stars of the show, Shkaret, Explore, Shalha. But to be honest, my expectations were, both of us, yeah, my expectations true. were blown way out of the water. The activities were actually way more extreme than what I thought. My favorite was the monster truck and the... Rafting. And the rafting. You also really Same. like the rafting, Raft, yeah. The rafting and the monster truck. Were yeah, the, the amazing. Yeah. yeah. The rope the rope course was very hectic. If we had to do that again, we definitely wouldn't go for the most difficult level because that, I swear, is for prof professional athletes, yeah. which we clearly are not. But <laughs> overall, I had an excellent day and I think yeah. you did too. Yeah, yeah. I really had a good time. So if you're thinking to visit Savage Park, you can find the tickets down below. If you want to know more details about the park, you can check our blog down below at fortheroadtravels.com. If you enjoy our video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed to our channel. And that being said, we will see you in the next episode. Hasta, Hasta luego! luego.